All right, good morning Year 12s. We are starting a new video series uh, today. We are starting with Redox, okay? So there's quite a few videos and there'll be a couple of extra bonus videos for those of you who like and subscribe. So let's move on, okay? These are the things that you have to try and learn today. It's about having a basic understanding of what Redox is and to do that, you will be able to need to describe it and you'll be able to, and you'll need to be able to um, define a whole bunch of words relating to what Redox is. Okay, so what is Redox? Redox is an abbreviation of two words. It's reduction and oxidation, okay? It's uh, where electrons are transferred from one substance or element to another substance or element. Okay, so just like the idea that acids and bases, um, acids and bases, you transfer protons. This time we are dealing with electrons being transferred from one place to another, okay? So what is redox? Uh, the substance or element that loses their electrons is undergoing op oxidation. Okay, so here's you have substance one, right? And here you have substance two. Ah, that's supposed to be blue. Okay, here you have substance two. And here you have some electrons passing in between them. Okay, um, the substance that loses their electrons is undergoing oxidation. So here, this substance here is undergoing oxidation. And the other substance that is gaining the electrons is undergoing reduction. Okay, so oxidation and reduction, these are two words to describe the process. Okay, um, this process must occur simultaneously. So every time you lose an electron, something must be there to take it. All right, and um, you can also have multiple electrons. Okay, so you have uh, oxidation occurring, uh, it can lose many electrons or just one electron and they all have to be taken by something else all right now please note that these are not uh this is not saying that these two things are the reactants and products these are in fact both reactants okay and so they turn into two new substances one substance with less electrons and another substance with more electrons okay Okay, so this one will underwent oxidation and produces a new substance. Okay, and this one underwent reduction and forms a new substance as well. Okay, so it's not saying that these two things here on the left are um, uh, the products and reactants. They are both the reactants and one of them has undergone oxidation and one of them has undergone reduction. Okay. So what is redox? Uh, so we have a couple of mnemonics to help you remember. Leo the lion says ger. That's the one that I like. Leo the lion says ger. All right. Or you can choose the boring one. Oil rig oxidation is the loss of electrons. Reduction is the gain of electrons. Okay. Just a couple of mnemonics for you to learn. Okay. So definitions. Uh, the substance that is undergoing oxidation is called the reducing agent or the reductant because it causes the other substance to reduce okay so uh whatever is the thing that causes the other substance to reduce that's called the reductant and therefore that must undergo oxidation all right um the substance that undergoes reduction is blah 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 same same uh but opposite all right so here we have our two things this thing here is losing electrons okay if it's losing electrons, it's undergoing oxidation. Okay, therefore the other one is under, since it's gaining electrons, is undergoing reduction. Yeah. Okay, so since one is undergoing oxidation and the other one is going, undergoing reduction, we have to work out what is the oxidant and what is the reductant. So the oxidant is the one that is undergoing reduction. So this is the oxidant because this substance, this blue substance, made the red substance undergo oxidation. So it's the oxidant, this blue substance, all right? And this red substance is the reductant because it made the other substance undergo reduction, okay? Or you can call this the reducing agent or, and the other one can be called uh, the oxidizing agent. So that's just a couple of uh, definitions for you to learn about. All right, that's it for the first video. They're all hopefully gonna be quite short um, and then we'll see how we go. All right, thanks.